Greetings people. Images disappeared on WordPress. Uh, it can be uh, an annoying issue. Uh, not sure what causes it, but I know how to fix it because I've been through it. Um, so with this video, uh, I'll start with the easy steps that I believe will fix it straight away. If it doesn't fix it, then go to the next section and I'll keep going and keep going until uh, you finally get it fixed. Now, the first easy, and this is the first uh, step one, if you got Jetpack running, disable, enable lazy loading, enable lazy loading for images, and switch off. Enable site accelerator, speed up images. Turn all that off, and your website should be working. Again, uh, why it happened, I have no idea, but I fixed my problem by turning all that off. A week la later, uh, also I just with enable lazy load. Lazy load can sometimes be uh, in your theme also, so be careful of that. Uh, you you could have it on your theme also so don't click on that if it's if you got lazy loading for on your already on your theme which I do have but I can turn this back on now so after I, I seven days I was able to turn it back on and everything was okay so hopefully that should fix it if it doesn't let's go to step two okay we go to um, <clears throat> Well, it depends on what SEO plugin you're running. Um, but they all kind of got the same settings. So you need to fix up your social network. So we go to social networks. And there's some stuff we you need to do. Uh, okay, Facebook. Okay, we went off track there. So go to Open Graph. So you say your you Facebook. You put your Facebook page there in there. Um, and so you have to open up Facebook Open Graphs. Now, there's a few things you got to do. Um, you got to put your app ID in. So, they give you part of the code and you have to find your app ID. Um, uh, so, I'll show you how to find the app ID. So, again, go to manage apps now if you haven't got one set one up add a new app I've got a few there so you need to copy that app ID so, okay so how to set that up if you don't know how to set it up so Facebook gives us that there um, I'll just change the color for a sec and uh, just make that bigger so you can see it. So just there, just there, 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 we've got a pretty out number in. So I have to copy that again because I just lost the. So copy that. And drop 
the app ID. A lot of people don't know about this and don't do it. And very important for your SEO. Because it gives you authority. So we just drop it there. Okay, so uh, it's a bit of messing around. Uh, put you, so upload your logo. It's got to be 200 pixel by 200 pixel. I just used the fab Fabicon. That was fine and it worked. But you can uh, make up your own 200 by 200 if you want. Okay, one or more page Facebook page IDs uh, if you only if well I'd say you have a Facebook page but if if you don't well you don't need to do this but if you have a Facebook page not group page then you have to go to so this is a, my Facebook page go to the publishing tool Right, so go to configuration there and connect your site and then bingo, there's your 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 number. Okay, well that's all set up. You can grab it just like that, so you don't need to grab the code and stick the number in. Um, back to this. So put that in there. Uh, what are you doing? Putting its own code in. Okay, so that's just save that straight away. I'll make another video, but we'll leave that just now. I hope I've helped you. Have a great day or night. Bye now.